Hello and welcome to the ST Stand at Embedded World 2016, where I have been joined by Federico Rivoli, technical marketer for 32-bit automotive microcontrollers. Let's talk a little bit about ISOCAN FD and what it's doing to help improve car network bandwidth. Well, uh, ISOCAN FD uh, is an, more or less an evolution of a pre-existing well-known automotive standard network, the CAN itself. FD stands for flexible data rate, where the flexibility comes from a different uh, data rate during the arbitration phase versus the data phase. And this is um, what is the, the particular point of a CAN FD. Recently, so in December last year, it became an international standard, so that we call it now ISO CAN FD. ISO CAN FD features uh, up to five megabit per second during the uh, data uh, phase, but, and it offers a larger payload, so up to 64 bytes with respect to the former standard CAN. In this sense, the ISO CAN FD pushes the standard CAN in the direction of flex ray, filling a hole between the standard CAN itself and the flex ray in terms of bandwidth, bringing the benefits of uh, cost effectiveness, typical of the standard CAN, as well as knowledge, the wide knowledge which is spread around the technical community. Okay, Federico, prove it. Let's see yeah. one of your microcontrollers sure. in action, in, demonstrating performance increase. In front of us, we have uh, a CAN FD demonstration based on two um, microcontrollers which we brought recently on the market. They are represented here, so they are uh, belonging to the SPC57 family, and the data transfer is represented here by a simple image which is sent from source to destination via CANFD protocol. For instance, we, we start first from the uh, standard configuration to see which the speed of the transferring the image is. And then here you, you see all the benefits which is really brought in, in pictures. In this case, we, we have seen which the speed was. Now we go in configuration or CANFD mode with up to four megabit per second, and we can appreciate which the speed is. It's incredibly faster, so we can say that it, it is roughly, so from six to 10 times, we could say, uh, faster than the, the, the old standard, sure, depending on the conditions. In this specific case, we were going up to four megabit per second, so not even going to the maximum extent, because the ISOC NFD itself offers up to five megabit per second. Here we were limiting ourselves simply up to four. As impressive as that is, what's next in the pipeline? <laughs> we are doing a lot of investment in terms of CAN ISFD. So um, all our microcontroller will be featuring the ISO CAN FD standard. We are supporting them with uh, AutoSAR MCAL drivers. We are doing uh, alliances and strategic partnership with the major software houses. This is all we are doing right now in the KNFD uh, perimeter, but this is not unique perimeter where SC is putting a lot of efforts in terms of automotive networks. We are already working at other automotive standards, the Ethernet automotive. Let's see, it might be a topic for next year. I will catch up with you next year. Enjoy this year's Embedded World. Thanks for your time, Federico. Thank you too.